dear students today in this video we will go to simulate the circuit diagram of a half wave rectifier we are using orcad p spice simulator for simulating this open orcad capture in this go to new project type the name as half wave hlf half wave rectifier rectifier and select a location and click this p space analog or mixed then click ok then create blank project click there ok next a new window will be appearing in that you have to draw the circuit diagram you need one op amp and uh, for go to place part click there then type the name part name as u a 7 4 1 op amp so this is there so double click here so that part will be appearing here left click here and then escape next you need two diodes diode is d capital d 1 and 4001 type the name part name d1 and 4001 double click that diode so here is one diode then escape you see one diode is here okay these two are the diodes and next you want three resistors so in the part search you type capital R that is or smaller so R bar analog double click there one resistor here one resistor here and one resistor at this second pin okay next you want a sine wave source uh, then escape then sine wave source is for giving the input v sine is the keyword v sine source v sine s i n source double click and click it uh, here then escape next you want to uh, place the ground this is place ground click there and select the zero capsing ok and one ground at this point ok and one ground at the third terminal ok then escape next you can draw the wire connection that is uh, place wire uh, in that you can uh, from the second pin you can draw to this one resistor and from this resistor you can go to this voltage source you can end wire here and then you can draw wire escape then escape and you can click w from the keyboard to draw the wire and from this node to this ground terminal and um, then from this third terminal to then you can end the wire here and again you can draw the wire from this point in order to make the connection very clear next uh, you have to draw uh, from this second pin that is uh, from the second pin from the second pin you can draw see you can simply draw click at this point and go this way do not stop at the third pin and then this connection is ok because the wire is not connected to the third pin ok so next from this R1 to you can go to this diode let us end the wire here and just rotate this diode just escape and then rotate this click uh, right click left click sorry left click at this and rotate r from keyboard again r from keyboard again r from keyboard okay similarly this diode also r from rotate r r r next you can draw the wire so type w from the keyboard and you can start from this wire point to this node okay then you can draw from this node to this node and from this node to this resistor point and from this resistor mm, to second pin okay so now you can stop at this uh, stop stop there okay next from this sixth point to output to drag from um, there next you want two voltage sources so escape voltage source is vdc you can type vdc so vdc source double click there and you can place the voltage source at this point and similarly you can place the voltage source at this point also and then escape you need to rotate this voltage source to give a plus 15 so type r from the keyboard okay similarly you have to rotate this source also so type r from the keyboard so that it will rotate next you can join by you in this voltage source by using wire so place wire from this point you can 
mm, uh, draw a line to this voltage source and here also you can draw a line to this voltage source see and now the voltage source connection is okay next you have to place ground for that voltage source so click on this place ground and then uh, click on zero now no ground is selected here so select zero capsim so that the figure will be appearing here then click ok so this is the ground pin and here also another ground pin next escape and next you can again draw the wire click w from the keyboard you can either use place wire or w from the keyboard sometimes if you are using from the keyboard then it will increase the speed of your circuit to connection okay so escape so now the all the connections are okay next you can give values to the input so v of um, uh, v of value will be is equal to um, uh, zero i am double click there v of value will be equal to zero okay next double click this amplitude amplitude value will be we are using the amplitude as 100 millivolt so 100 m okay next frequency will be frequency you know we are using um, the frequency as um, 500 hertz so 500 hertz uh, so okay uh, next ac cp you can uh, ac value give begin as zero okay so next you have to give the voltage as zero vdc click double click on this sorry go to the page one double click this is the zero vdc double click on that zero vdc so you can type a 15 okay then double click on this zero vdc you can type a minus 15 not type a minus sign because it is already connected to the negative terminal of the battery next diode okay this resistance value is equal to 1k this also 1k and this resistance value is equal to 1k now the circuit is okay next we can um, uh, simulate it. so go to p space new take new simulation profile type the name as half half praveena i am typing my name also half praveena in order to identify the project from the list okay create next uh, yes uh, next go to p space uh, next new simulation profile will be appearing i okay so the uh, simulation setting will be appearing here you can type um, uh, 0 to uh, how many i am giving 30 millisecond it's okay um, and the step size is 5 microsecond that is 5 u and uh, then here analysis time diamond transient okay click okay next you can place the output voltage node here okay sorry uh, node is pl placing here okay just escape and you can delete uh, the node which is you are not you don't want just click there and delete from the keyboard and the next you can name, name this node as a negative half so go to the uh, net place net alias and the negative half you can type neg negative hlf that is its name negative half cycle will be appearing there okay Mm, and place uh, this box at this wire point and click there and then escape okay let me see how this negative half cycle just uh, let us uh, uh, run this project mm, let me see the output waveform will be appearing at this point see this here is the output let us see so this now you can see clearly see that negative half cycle is appearing if you want to uh, see the uh, one or two um, one or two cycles only if you want to see you can just plot the from 0 to uh, 10 millisecond let us see we can go to the sim edit the simulation profile you can see here this is the view, new view simulation uh, result this is simulation queue this is in edit the simulation setting you can directly go from here and uh, here you can type what uh, 0 to 10 millisecond if you type it uh, uh, 10 millisecond 10 millisecond uh, then it will show only the few cycles up to this point okay uh, next you can run here is the run button mm, so uh, this is the cycles so uh, negative only negative half cycle is obtaining if you want to see the positive half cycle mm, uh, you can go to uh, you can go to this side see one second you can also place the uh, probe here and uh, you can delete this probe escape simply you can delete this probe delete and then next you can run this simulation you will get this positive half cycle okay 
this is all about this experiment if you like my video um, 